who's here in Russia at the quarter-final stage, a place in the semi-final beckons for the successful side today. It's Uruguay versus France from Nizhny Novgorod, and it's live! Hi everybody, welcome to this quarter-final in the Nizhny Novgorod Stadium. And we've got two nations who really are battling to go all the way in this wonderful World Cup. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me. Action again, it comes thick and fast from Russia. And today, it's Uruguay against France. It's an international fixture here, Alan, that will bring back memories for you and your England career. Well, it is a proud moment. You stand there, you sing along to the national anthem and... Uh... You just want to do yourself justice for presenting your country. Here we go then, quarter final of the FIFA 2018 World Cup here in Russia. Yeah, push is coming to shove now. No room for mistakes. This is Uruguay's lineup. Fernando Muslera starts in goal. Diego Godin plays alongside Jose Maria Jimenez. In the heart of defence, in attack, Luis Suarez plays up front with Edison Cavani. Shots out! France have been given the corner. Baran! There's still danger here after this half clearance. saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. It's looking good, this move. That's offside. And the referees acknowledge that fact. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. We can put them in front. No difficulty at all for Fernando Muslera. Well, there are players here who stand out a bit. These two in particular, I think, today, Alan. Well, two excellent attacking players we are treated to seeing. I'm really enjoying good seasons and I'm expecting a bit more of the same today. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Griezmann! I think it's no exaggeration to say that all the sports fans around the world just stop for this four weeks and a bit when the World Cup comes on the schedule and it's gripping, it's eye-catching, it's worldwide as the competition suggests it should be. It's just brilliant. It is, I mean... It's always been a magical month, and I think it always will be. So many superb, unforgettable games down the years, and uh, I think we're in for a few over the next few weeks, too. Well, he has cleared the danger. France get the throw. Sidibe. Griezmann. Giro! Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. He's gone behind for a France corner. He goes the corner. Good defensive clearance there. Giro! Oh, by two now. Got the chance nicely. And that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. Well, it's a goal. And I don't think it'll be the last one they score today, the way they're 
they're playing. Oh, the opposition is all over the place. Just no semblance of organisation from them. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. It's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Conte on to Mbappe. Well, it's an important area to win back the ball that. Griezmann. Here's the shot. Threw everything behind that shot. And frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. He's got to go off with that injury. And a substitution will now follow. Yeah, and it might just mean a change of formation as the manager just tries to make sense of that change. Could be dangerous. Olivier Giroud, and they've cut it out. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Griezmann, now with Mbappe, in quickly. Conte, Rabat, Giroud. He's got his shot off now. Saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. And he's knocked it out of play, the defender. Lucas Hernandez. Griezmann. Giroud. Here's the chance. Oh, that was an opportunity for him to score again. Well played by the goalkeeper, who this time got the better of him. Yeah, good use of the legs and his positioning really did narrow down the angle. Crisp defending there. Lamar. Oh, he's through. May well be an advantage for France here. Lamar. Muslera with the save. Really tussling for the ball here. The run through here in the end to the goalkeeper. Disappointment for them. Olivier Giroud is offside. You can afford to give those defenders a yard or two, you know, because he's quicker than them. Interesting to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today now that this uh, rain is coming down. Might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes with the lads wearing blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more. And uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match. Ball uh, back with France. And here they are on the attack. Good challenge here. He thought he might have connected a bit better than that. It's a simple save in the end from the long shot. Griezmann. Now with Giroud. Lamar. Shot up. Fantastic football and thrilling goal for France. Well, I think that goal was coming for France. You could see it. For France. A big goal, and it looks like a biggish win. I think so, they've won the scores, and deservedly so. Well, sometimes games take a while to ignite, not this one, not for this team. He's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. He's lost it in the tackle. Now, can they break? Giroud! Oh, charge down.
No need to attack so much in the second half as the half-time whistle goes, but also they've got to guard against complacency as well, Alan, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, I'd be surprised if they just sat back and defended this lead because they're capable of getting two or three more. Plenty of quality in the first half of this quarter-final. Second half underway now. France have the lead. Yeah, France do have the lead. I think they'll be expecting a, a fight back from the opposition, though, who didn't really perform as well as they might in that first half. And here's the shot. He's spotting it up now to take the corner. In from Antoine Griezmann. All Peters out, rather, for them. Giro is offside. Possession given away once more. Play forward, a bit of menace in this attack. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Griezmann. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. I would be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal from him. Good overall performance, actually. Olivier Giroud. Griezmann. Another turnover in play here with that interception. Luis Suarez. Into the attacking third. It was good play until they got that challenge in. Mbappe. Griezmann. Mbappe! Well, they line up for the corner. Defended well. Got the ball and they're going at the opposition with speed. Clever pass from Suarez. Promising build up until that challenge. Conte. Matuidi. Grisma. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Be a throw for France. Conte. Mbappe. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Now he's got the ball. What's he going to do with it? Free kick here for France. France. And this is now time for the change, or the changes, I should say. There are two players coming on. And the goalkeeper, it's his ball. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Rafael Varane. 
They can't move as well as he was doing. It's that earlier injury. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Oh, he's won the ball in his own penalty area. Got to deal with it now. Griezmann makes the challenge here. The Arascator. Trying to slip it through. In on goal, Suarez. Suarez. Oh, it's a long way away from the target. He was so close in. Oh, that's a howler. And he's uh, getting some stick off those supporters. I know, Alan, this is one of your favourite referees. And he's done well here, hasn't he? He's come back and done the booking, having let the play go on earlier. Yeah. He seems to have given the ball away. Coming on to the pitch. Number 22. Shot off! Well, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. To be replaced by Griezmann. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Now, can he take them on? Juru and shoots! The keeper's pulled that one out of the bag. Still on the attack, and they've got a corner. Corner played into the middle. Well, oh, that's good defending. Mbappe. And here's the shot. Attacking team not happy about that offside call, but you can see it again here. Well, he is quick, this lad, and he can afford to give himself another yard. I think he's got the beating of these defenders in a race. Good forward play from them. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Well, we've been locked in this position for a while. Probably the longest period in the game where the losing team haven't conceded. They're just seeing out time and, to be fair, the winning team are doing the same as well. Blow the whistle, ref. France working the ball cleverly into a really promising position. They are a skater. Varela. Trying to get involved, I think, the forward by coming this deep to get on the ball. On to the attack now. The break is definitely on. They can't stop him. The uh, attack has fizzled out here. Goal kick. It's time for some fresh legs here. Well, he was in the right place. Giroud! That's great work by the goalkeeper. Well, corner count rises and rises. Taken by Griezmann. Super header. Narrowly wide. Yeah, the goalie was rooted to the spot there. forward a bit of menace in this attack tackle here Jimenez the referee has indicated to ooze around the uh, crowd for a three minute add on which is what we're going to get for added time Mbappe Grisma well, they could pose some danger now Olivier Giroud shot still a chance in there off the goalkeeper it's a comprehensive win by three goals to nil that's the final whistle well that's the quarter final over with they're through and they're through into the semi-finals great feeling for them well they can almost smell that final now can't they look at the look on the faces they are delighted i think he was the best performer in a good team today well, no wonder he looks happy. He's playing superbly well at the moment. He did here to continue that form. Another goal too. And as for this fella, not a good performance from him today. It's a shame because he set such high standards in his previous performance.
cream, they say, will rise to the top. Well, one of these nations is going to be part of the cream of the semi-final of this World Cup. And one will go home. We'll see. It's Brazil against Belgium from Kazan. And it's live. Hi there, everybody. Martin Tyler, along with Alan Smith. We're at the quarterfinal stage of this World Cup. And as the old song goes, I've got Friday on my mind. Friday football here from the Kazan Arena. And these two teams will be going at it hammer and tongs, Alan. This is the way Brazil are going into this game. Marcelo starts with Danilo as the fullbacks. Paulinho plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And they'll miss with the chance to go into the lead now. Anticipate. Well, they got away with it in the end. No, it's offside. you made for you first world cup 1930 13 teams guiding it through clever run coutinho well sometimes these opportunities can come too early and maybe this is one of them yeah maybe just caught cold there wasn't expecting the chance to land at his feet and made a mess of it just a, a quick reminder to everyone i was going to mention it earlier how the tournament has grown only 13 countries in 1930 the first staging 21st staging now here in russia 32 teams in a format that we're getting used to now yeah we are it's an extravaganza isn't it a festival of football anybody that loves the beautiful game loves this tournament well here could be a chance for the corner the Bruyne's corner Bezos! it can be quick on the break now I'd be surprised, Alan, if this game finishes goalless because we've got a great finisher in each team. Yeah, two great goal scorers. Two lads that uh, never need asking twice. Quite often, one touch finishes. Really special out. Corner played into the middle. Needs to be quick. Keeper pushes it away from the goal. Mertens. be a chance here they've got the ball into a good area we can put them in front here's a chance the goalkeeper it's right from the kicker look at the ball in shot from the off and what a good goal where did that goal come from top class well sometimes as a defender you need a bit of luck but they didn't get it there and he fell at the feet of the man and the spot to score Opened the scoring 1 0 here. As I started, he's an out and out winger, but more versatile now. De Bruyne, got to be. Fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. a wonderful tackle Lukaku Lukaku and they have scored they do lead now by two they've worked very hard for this it should get them across the line at the end of the match we'll see well, the scoring in any game is worthy of celebration when you get two it is special and he is feeling that special delight at the moment Paulinho. Well, they're in a good position here. Oh, he's through. Only partially away from danger. Thomas Mernier. Hazard. Lukaku. Aidan Hazard. Super goal. They want to move the ball about there, Martin, before creating the chance. was really good. They picked the right pass every time now. 
this is what you call leading from the front. A strike from the skipper. Yeah, he's popped up with a very good moment there. expected this such a one-sided affair but look at the scoreline Neymar able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement attacking well here he's very confident with the ball at his feet Lukaku the keeper might be needed again he didn't hang on to the ball Neymar on the attack here trying to get it wide and it was a good idea but he couldn't find his supporting player came in with the challenge and the ball broke free striding forward purposefully Gabriel Jesus well that needed a more subtle touch he's gone for power and he's nowhere near well I don't think he kept his head down actually probably thought he'd scored before he'd even hit it Romelu Lukaku they've got the ball back the interceptor got it for them Paulinho Marcelo Azar he might be through oh it's got to be fantastic save well, the keeper got to that and probably should have done. Yeah, you would expect him to save it, and he did. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Well, they line up for the corner. Put in by De Bruyne. Cleared away, well away from goal. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Lukaku! He's made the save. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Could be dangerous get his foot in there well Lukaku Lukaku he can cut it back now and he's put it away beautifully nothing like for a manager seeing a goal like that real team effort great understanding between those lads down there it's a goal that's easily taken they were caught out leaving the goalkeeper totally exposed he could do nothing one against those two no he's uh, entitled to wonder where his defenders were there and the bar bring him down to the lad he could do nothing at all the keeper oh he's got to make a change this manager because uh, it's men against boys needs to give them a lift the substitution I would imagine well this is a truly outstanding start to the game a fantastic first half He's coming forward with some danger. Gabriel Jesus. To ooze around the uh, crowd for a three-minute add-on, which is what we're going to get for added time. Coutinho. A bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Neymar, the offside player. Neymar, Marcelo, plenty of width for high-class first-half performance in the quarter-final of this cup competition and surely they're on their way to the semis. So here we go with the second half of this quarter-final, losing at the moment of Brazil. Oh, what a scalp they would beat Brazil if uh, the opposition does not. Great ball. Almost got through, but the keeper picked it up in time. He 
is Casemiro. And another Brazil attack here. Good challenge here. Paulinho. It's Coutinho. Paulinho. Gabriel Jesus. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. It's over hit, isn't it? And it's the goalkeeper's ball. Good performance so far by Aiden Hazard. On top of his game out there, and I'm sure he'll be thinking about grabbing his hat trick in the second half. It's Marquinhos. Paulinho. On the move and able to cut out the pass. With Mertens. Oh, he's through. It's opened up. Super goal. It's his third goal. It's a hat trick today. He's really been on form. Well, a wonderful achievement to get three goals in a team like this against opposition like this. It's a special day. It certainly is. For a special player, too. A player that uh, is the clinical sort. He's shown us that today. One team really on their game today. The other very odd colour. Here's Casemiro. Lukaku on the attack here and that ball belongs to the goalkeeper Renato Augusto Neymar Romelu Lukaku could be dangerous the shot has come off the goalkeeper still in play Fritzl it's De Bruyne Lukaku oh fantastic goal three of the best he's made them play and that completes a wonderful hat trick one he'll treasure the most because it's given him the hat-trick yeah and uh, he'll be taking home that match ball with a great deal of pride I have to say it's so one-sided today but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals now they've got the ball back what can they do from here Mertens this is how they love to play on the break real chance now never panicked Placed it past the goalkeeper. Knocked it away from very close range. All about concentration, not getting the right strike on it. No, we expected this. Such a one sided affair. And what's the score Gabriel Jesus. Renato Augusto. Reese Mertens has given away a free kick here. It's going to be two changes here. The manager deciding to make a quite a drastic switch. Bernardinho. Now the shot. A real miscue here. Alan, what have you made of Lukaku, who's uh, too hot to handle at the moment for the opposition? Well, I think we can say he's been man of the match so far. So many touches in dangerous areas and uh, he's also managed to find the net more than once good work really to read the intention of the pass that's good movement forward here and the goalkeeper has got to collect the ball for a goal kick the best part of being a football supporter those last few minutes when you know your team is going to win. Yeah, these occasions when you're confident that your team are going to win through, 
you can sing your songs and just enjoy the whole experience. Marcelo. Roberto Firmino. Quick witted. Quick in his movement too to intercept there. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Good position. They've worked this. This could be it. There's a lot of pre-match talk between the two managers. One's got his team absolutely right, and has the goals to show for it, and the other hasn't. No, I mean, the winning manager, if he does win, he'll claim a tactical masterclass here, I think, the way he's uh, overcome the opposition. Wasteful pass, unforced error, really. Well, I'll be honest with you, this last few minutes have dragged a little bit from where we're sitting because the game as a contest is long, long over. Chadwick, and they managed to score here. It's the substitute who scored, and it's a terrific effort by him and by the manager who sent him off. It's so hard to counter Martin, that one, two-touch stuff. The understanding between this team, the opposition couldn't get near. He can't have scored many better than this. The defend is imparted onto the ball. I'll give him credit. You can see exactly what he set out to do there and executed it perfectly. One team really on their game today. The other very off colour. On the attack here. Neymar. Lukaku. Eden Hazard break quickly when they get possession. Lukaku return to Hazard. Lukaku. He's bringing the ball well there. And here they are on the attack. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Thomas Mernier. Lukaku. Now with Hazard. Here's an opportunity. Here's the shot. That's what we've come to see. That's a brilliant goal. Oh, it's another fine goal. And uh, the keeper... He's had to pick the ball out the net. He's had a miserable time, as have the losing side here. One more look at what happened earlier. Could the defender have done anything different, Alan? If he's half turned away, and that didn't help. If he'd have closed it down a bit more bravely, it might have been better. This attack a menace to it. <laughs> Came it straight to him, didn't they? Romelu Lukaku. It was an easy save because he was able to plot the path of the ball all the way into his hands. Well, there is the final whistle, and that is a truly comprehensive margin of victory. Star of the show today, undoubtedly, Eden Hazard. Well, he goes across and grabs the match ball with the ref, a hat-trick, and that's to be treasured by any player. Well, that's the quarter-final over with. They're through, and they're through into the semi-finals. Great feeling for them. Well, they can almost smell that final now, can't they? Look at the look on the faces. They are delighted.